I'm joined now by entertainment journalist Steve Hargrave and Polly Jones, head of campaigns at the World Development Movement. Uh, Steve, Bob Geldof, he's still got it, hasn't he? He can pick up the phone and get an impressive lineup to help out. Yeah, I mean, his context book's nearly as big as his hairstyle at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> All over the place. He certainly can. I mean, he can sort of call him up and sort of does them. Um, well, we're on the fourth one now, aren't we, and stuff. So everyone kind of wants to get involved, I guess, because we've got that nostalgia thing now for the original Band Aid single is that everyone, when they do it, we all know and love that song and we grew up with it. When they come and say we want to do another version, every pop star wants to be on it so that future mm. generations can kind of look back. It's like a time capsule of every given year when they do it and this is about who's who at the moment. So you get your One Direction, your Ed Sheeran, Chris Martin, Bono will come back, George Michael will come back, Will Adele come back, possibly, and they'll all go and record it and, and then it'll be uh, on the X Factor and then out on Monday. It's a perfect marketing strategy in terms of getting people to yeah, give. Yeah, they've thought it through, haven't they? They've thought it through very well. <laughs> get it out quick and uh, everyone give a pound next week. It'll be number one and presumably, you know, raise millions next week and then release a physical product. So it's a great marketing strategy and why not? You know, everyone give that money to a charity as we run up to Christmas again. I guess it works, doesn't it? But Polly, there have been criticisms, particularly of the original song and um, sort of the image it gave of Africa and what it did to actually the development of the continent. That's that's right. Um, there's even something called the Live Aid Legacy. This whole idea that uh, with the Band Aid singles and the imagery, imagery that went with it, that Africa was treated like a country, not a continent. It didn't recognise the people who were struggling with the, the famine in Ethiopia in Ebola today as individuals. They were victims that were there to be helped by us in the West. Um, and that's a really uncomfortable message. And it's not been very helpful. The UK public um, has questions about the role that uh, we should play in giving aid. And this kind of imagery and, and lyrics like last time um, really put people off helping in a long-term sustainable way to really tackle the root causes of the problems. Um, the single raised about £8 million. Pounds, the mm. Live Aid concerts raised £150 yeah. million. So an extraordinary amount of money. But do you think that the, uh, the, the disadvantages outweigh the advantages of something like this? Well, there, there, are, there are two problems. One is um, how the money itself will be used. Um, it's it's Band-Aid 30, but you could argue that it's actually just a sticking plaster um, on, um, because it doesn't tackle the root, the root issues. What those countries need are, are, are public health systems, and you can't fund those with a lump sum of money that comes... When the, when the singles come out, you need that money on a long-term basis so that governments can plan. And the other issue is around, around the messaging, this live aid legacy. Does it really tell us a story about Africa as it is, um, rather than Africa in a kind of victim charity idea that we, um, we, we sometimes believe it is? Uh, Steve, Bob Geldof has said that they are going to update the lyrics. They've been very clear about that. And also, there can be no doubt that people involved in this are doing, think they're doing good. Yeah, but it, it, is, it is always that really that tricky thing, isn't it? And I guess people would say, like, like you said, I mean, would you rather have that lump of money? What's the other alternative? Is it that people give nothing? I mean, are yeah, you, and don't care. Can, you, can, you, you, know, can mm. you engage kids who like One Direction to actually care about something and to want to give money or the, or the parents raise to actually the profile carry on of the whole thing? thing. So well, is it better to have one big massive hit like this. They have an amazing opportunity to really get some of this messaging right, to tell people something about Africa as it really is. So I look forward to seeing what the lyrics really are. Um, I certainly, that, and we are worried about the lyrics. To feed the world is, um, yeah, is, it was not right last time, and Africa mm. isn't a continent of, the, of burning sun without water. Well, that's exactly the lyric that's that he says. He's he was clear of going to change. Um, but 1984, I mean, was such a stunning success in a lot of ways. Yeah. Do you think they can ever replicate the no, success? Well, well no, I, I think they're nonsense. And in, in a way, it's refreshing to see Bob Geldof go, you know what, this song might be awful, and you yeah. may hate all and the you artists don't, It doesn't board. matter if I mean, you don't I, like I, it. I, I couldn't really turn around and say I'd buy any of the singles that they put out individually, but I mean, it's good to, it's a good excuse to give a pound towards something very easily. The system's set up to give that 99p. Perhaps people wouldn't think anyway. Is the song going to be any good? I don't think so. It'll be terrible, right? Everyone will still play the original song, but and it doesn't matter. There is always that question, obviously, is to go, what is it genuinely about the cause or are yeah. you here for egotistical purposes? And I think there's always an argument to be said about which yeah. ones are in which camp on that.